Hello and welcome to Basic Medical Sciences. If this is your first time here, please make sure you subscribe so that you won't miss any of our latest videos. Today we are going to talk about the Hepatitis A virus. In this course, you are going to learn about Hepatitis A, Hepatitis B, Hepatitis C, D, E and G. All right. But these viruses, they are unrelated taxonomically. So, the Hepatitis A virus, or HAV, belongs to the Piconaviridae family. All right. What it means is that it is a positive sense single-stranded RNA virus. And in this series, we are representing positive sense uh, single-stranded RNA viruses using this sun. Right. Above that, it is an icosahedral symmetry. And it's naked, meaning to say it doesn't have that um, lipid envelope. Hepatitis A virus is acid-stable, meaning to say it's not affected by the gastric juices, right? So, in that way, it is shared in the stools. And the usual way, those uh, infected stools will contaminate the water bodies, right? So, here I just highlighted, like, yes, it's passed through the... Uh, GIT without being affected. Okay, so let's see how these uh, water bodies which are infected by um, this virus contribute to transmission. Usually uh, in developing countries and developed countries um, it's different, right? In developing countries uh, there is a poor sanitation uh, and also methods of water purification are not so good, right? So through drinking this uh, uh, infected water, right? The, I mean, people can get uh, affected by this virus, right? But in developed countries, uh, sanitation and water purification is excellent, right? But how do uh, they usually get uh, this hepatitis A virus, right? So the main way is through eating uh, contaminated foods. For example, eating a raw shellfish, right? Okay, this is the most common uh, way, a raw shellfish. Now, a few words about the pathogenesis. The HIV is not cytopathic in itself, right? The research suggests that liver damage is caused by cellular immunity. Uh, especially uh, cytotoxic T cells or CD8 T cells. Hepatitis A virus usually cause acute viral hepatitis. What it means is that the infection uh, is less than six months, right? So this acute viral hepatitis has three phases, prodromal, ecteric phase, and resolution. Prodromal phase is characterized by fever, malaise, nausea, uh, vomiting, right upper quadrant pain, and tender hepatomegaly. Moving to ecteric phase, this phase is characterized by jaundice, dark urine, pale stools, and pruritus, right? And lastly, resolution is simply a resolution of symptoms, All right? Now, a few words about diagnosis of a hepatitis A virus. Firstly, what they do, they do liver function tests, right? Uh, but that test is usually non-specific, right? So uh, I'm not going to talk about that in this video, but... Uh, I just want to talk about the confirmatory tests, like what they do to confirm the diagnosis, right? Uh, if the infection is active, right, if there is active infection, um, what they do is like they take uh, uh, stool and serum samples, right, and uh, using polymerase chain reaction or PCR, they can detect the HAV RNA, right? So it's the actual antigen, the, the HAV, right? Uh, and what they also do is like uh, they uh, can use this serum, like serologically, they can detect uh, the antibodies, like high level of antibodies um, 
this and HAV IgM, right? So these antibodies, uh, they rise between first week to third week, right? In third week, they reach uh, their peak, right? Uh, and also you need to remember that um, from three months up to six months, even if after the resolution of uh, uh, these symptoms or of this uh, hepatitis A uh, infection, you, you can still detect the what? These antibodies, anti-HAV, IgM, right? Okay, so uh, if there is a post-exposure, right, if the person has been previously um, infected by the hepatitis A virus or after vaccination, uh, if, you if you check the stool and the serum, usually you don't detect any antigen, you don't detect the HAV, RNA, right? But you, in the serum, like serologically, you detect um, and HAV IgG, right? So these antibodies, uh, they last for decades, right? They last for decades. Here on um, and HAV IgM, I said like you detect like from three months until six months uh, after a uh, resolution, you will still detect these ones and they go bad. This one, uh, and HAV IgG, they uh, stay for decades. Now let's talk about treatment and prophylaxis. Treatment of this disease, you need to know that this acute viral hepatitis is usually self-limiting, so only supportive care uh, is necessary. Now talking about the hepatitis A pre-exposure prophylaxis, rule number one. The travelers should be advised to follow primary pre preventative measures, right? Uh, so this include uh, washing hands uh, and then make sure you are maintaining safety in terms of uh, food uh, and water, right? Rule number two, active immunization is also recommended for certain high-risk groups who have not been immunized in the past, right? And this group comprises of, uh, number one, uh, men who have sex with men. Number two, um, people with um, uh, chronic uh, liver diseases. And number three, people who travel to uh, other countries where HIV is endemic. HIV, please. I'm not saying HIV. HIV, hepatitis A virus. Right. Rule number three. In most countries, routine active immunization is now recommended for children um, over 12 months of age, right? To conclude this video, I want to tell you three points to take home, right? The first two points pertains to viral hepatitis, all of them. And then the last one is about hepatitis A virus only rule number one the vowels hepatitis a and e right are vowels vowels are vowels so you just need to know that they are transmitted fecal orally right rule number two the vowels again a and e they only cause acute hepatitis and you can see how i wrote this acute Right, why your consonants does hepatitis B, C, D may cause chronic uh, infections as well? Right, okay. And rule number three this pertains to hepatitis A virus, right? What we just discussed, I say the positive IgG values they indicate immunity against HAV due to prior infection or vaccination. Thanks for watching. Um, please, if you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a comment on the comment section, and give it a thumbs up, right? Uh, and good news, this video concludes the Picona Veride family, right?